Dear St. John's and all my best beloveds, I hope you have had a good week. I hope that whatever suffering or grief is in your world, you know that there is a community that will hold you in loving care and that you are not alone. We begin as we do every Sunday by placing a stone in recognition of the lives lost to the dreaded disease and in hopes that we improve our ways. This remote worship has gone on long enough that it has become a new sense of normal. And there are some things that we really miss from being together. Some of you have told me how much you miss the sounding of the singing bowl. So I would like to offer that to you this morning as part of our practice of prayer. I will, I will place some stones, light the lamp, sound the bowl, and then have the prayer after the bowl is sounded. This, of course, is our mosaic of stones representing the joys and concerns of the community. And again, today we place a stone for all the sorrows that accompany living. It is part of life, and without the sadness, we would not know what joy might be. We place another stone for the joys of our life, and we humbly acknowledge that they are fleeting. So let us enjoy them when they come, and let us share our blessings abundantly. With the lighting of this lamp, we commit ourselves as a community to hold all of humanity in our care whenever we can and to celebrate with one another so that no good thing goes unmarked. in us and among us. We call you in the wind and rain and know you by the shining of the night sky and the sunrise in the east. Spirit of life, we who mark these days know we are upon history's stage. May we be humbled by the passing of time and know that our time of suffering will yield. May we feel the tension between the wide world and our small individual lives and know that we too have power. We have the power to listen and learn and live in ways that minimize the harm we might otherwise do. May we take joy in the gifts of this hour and share that joy abundantly. Let your face, let your life, let your whole being be marked by that joy. And in doing so, may we all remember we are not alone. So may it be. Amen.